Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my academic setup for my new session. So if you're new to my channel, I am a doctoral student. I am earning my Doctor of Business Administration in Business Analytics with a concentration in Marketing. And my classes are 100% online. I actually don't even live in the same state as my school. I do have to go to residency twice a year, but I don't have to do that until the summer semester. And the way that the program is structured it is a cohort model so i attend the same classes with the same group and we have two classes each semester we go all year round and we do one class at a time so it's broken up into two the semester is broken up into two sessions so i am just now finishing my current session which is effective teaching in higher education, I believe it's what it's called, and then my upcoming class that's for my um, next session is, I believe, Conceptual Foundations of Finance. So, yeah, my setup has been the same, but I still want to share it. I just didn't want to do another video of the exact same thing because I found a system that works, but I did update my planner a little bit, so I do want to share the update for that and then I also wanted to share more on my iPad as well as the new notebook that I got for my dissertation. So let's start with the planner and so I was using th a set of three tabs from cloth and paper. It was the essential tabs and I wanted to have a tab per item in my agenda. So I just added the CEO tabs back into my agenda. And so I have my schedule section, which holds my quarterly inserts for work, monthly inserts, weekly overview. And then I have an hourly section, which is my schedule section as well. Under lists, I have my daily inserts. And I go over this in other videos. I, will, I really want to keep this fo uh, video focused on school. But in here, I just write out, um, these are a week on four page inserts from Rosie Papa Tree. Links to everything as well as my discount codes are down below. But in here, um, these are just my daily. So I fill these out every day with items that I need to do. And then I added a new section under projects. So I really just added something back. So if you've been following me for a while, I have used these in the past and these are from Elmon Paper Co. And they are a week on two page, essentially. It's their weekly planner number one inserts. And this is an archived design. This was the Simply design. They do have something similar. It's just a different style. I really love the minimal look of this one. So it's my favorite. Uh, but with these inserts, it breaks down your week into four different categories, which I love. So with that, I've divided mine up for this current week for to-do, class, content, and work. Those, So it's generally personal, um, you know, school, side, business, this, content creating, and then um, actual business. And so... Um, I'll switch it up each week based on what's going on, but I really like having just the general overview of seeing what I'm doing on each day and when, and it's just very helpful. And now that I have these extra tabs in here, I thought it'd be a great time to add it back into my planner. So I'm adding it for the new uh, session, so we have that. Under finance is my content section, so here's what that looks like. And then we have my school section under goals and ideas. And so this custom dashboard from Infinite Lotus. And then inside of here, I have an overview page from Infinite Lotus. It's a monthly dashboard. And on here, I just have a list of all of the assignments due in the month and anything I need to do during the month as well. And then everything's broken out in the week on one pages from Infinite Lotus as well. So. This is really just so I have a definitive list so I know what's going on throughout the month at a glance. And then this is just the breakdown of everything and then I check off what's done and what I need to do. So this was this um, 
previous session and that started in January that started off the spring semester. I've really loved using this. Um, I think this is my second semester using this style. And then here's the setup for this upcoming semester. So my new class is starting essentially the first full week of March. And so I have the list of everything that's due. I made a to-do list as well. And then I have everything in here. So there's less assignments, but they're more work. Um, so it looks blank, but it's very, it's gonna be a very busy semester. Um, Cause I was looking at that too. But yeah, we have all of these. And then I just have a few extra dashboards for the next semester in here. But that is the current agenda setup and how that looks. And then I just have a bookmark here so I can quickly flip to see what's due and what I need to work on. Um, I have these papery planning stickers in here so I can mark off um, when something gets done. And yeah, that is the planner setup. And loving it, really like having a tab per insert. It's just, it helps me out a lot. I like being able to easily flip to it whatever I need to flip to, and that's why I have so many bookmarks in here as well. So that is the planner setup. And then with that, I also use my iPad. So I have been getting in the habit of transitioning to ebooks, so I like to keep them on my iPad. It just makes it easier when I need to look up a topic. I can do, you know, a quick search. And for me, I feel like it's been helpful. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did buy, I think in my last semester, the um, physical copy as well as the um, ebook version just because it was, I like reading it. I like reading books on paper, but when it comes to like the assignments and everything, I like being able to just look it up easier on here. So yeah, this past semester I only did online and it worked out pretty well. And so I'm going to try the same method for this current um, session. So on here, um, I just have my calendar. I hope y'all can see that pretty well. So um, this has everything from my work calendar to personal, so that way I can see what's going on. And then I have the different time zones here. So with that one, I like the way it looks, but two, my school is in Portland and I live in Texas. So I just have the different time zones in here just as a reference for when we have meetings or classes or like group studies. That way I can take a look at that. And then... Our school is on Canvas. Um, that's where all of our online classes are. So I just have the widget here for that. And it just has announcements on here. So I can click on it and easily go to the announcements. And then I have my little reminder list here. So I like having everything on my iPad because it syncs with all of my other Apple devices. So I have an iPhone, Apple Watch, iMac, a desktop version, and then a MacBook laptop version. And so I have a list of all of my assignments in here. So that way it's on my physical planner so I can look at it. But also I get reminders too in my phone like, hey, um, a presentation's due. I mark larger assignments as a priority. So that way I also get the notifications. But you can also alert yourself so that way you're fully aware of what's going on. So that's something that I've liked doing throughout my um, doctoral program just because it helps. I also like being able to see the full list and where I'm at, what needs to be done, but also those notifications have just been so amazing. And then I just have the various notes. So we use EndNote for articles um, for writing papers and it just stores everything on here. This is Canvas for school so I can check the to-do list, the calendars, I can watch any videos that are provided. I don't really use my iPad for like working on discussion posts or anything. Um, I mainly just use it for like reading and watching videos so that way I can work on my assignments on my MacBook or my iMac. And then I have my Google Drive so that way I can easily get to all of my Google Docs and slides for work. I have good notes so that way I can um, take notes if I want to on my iPad. I also have some like note inserts in here that I use, but I just keep it in there. 
And then um, new edition, I have corset. But this is my home screen slash layout, and I really loved it. I really like using my iPad with um, my other Mac products because it makes it easier to um, one, sync with everything, but I can put something additional over here. So I like watching, again, the videos over here. I can have an article up right through my EndNotes and that syncs with everything. Um, but I can just use this with Apple products. You can also use your tablet as a sidecar. So you can use it as an additional screen if you wanted to as well. It's just very beneficial. And then one of my favorite things about it is that um, with an iPad, it's more compact, so that way it's easier to use on a plane. And then I have service on this one, so in, as opposed to my laptop where I don't have like instant service. And so I can really use it anywhere if I need to. So yeah, that is um, everything on my iPad and how I have that set up. And then one other thing that I wanted to share with y'all is this Dior notebook. So I did an unboxing, I think on TikTok and on Instagram. Um, I just really wanted something where I can write different ideas for my dissertation. So I'm still in year one, but I still want to think of different topics. And as ideas come, um, put that in here. As I approach year two, I'll have to start forming my chair and then really start concentrating more on what I want to write about and drafting a proposal. That's been, that's what's been recommended. So I got this notebook. Obviously you don't need a designer notebook in order to do that, but I just thought it'd be motivating and I've always wanted to do your notebook. So I grabbed that just for my dissertation ideas. So yeah, that is my setup for my new session. That is also just a little overview of how I plan for school. And yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.